Hello everyone, my name is Srimant Kumar. You're watching some basic tech, and today I will show you how you can download and install Citrix Workspace uh, file in your Ubuntu system or in your Linux system uh, with the help of uh, terminal, and uh, how you can just download and install it. So let us start the video and see. So I have already installed Linux CentOS operating system in my virtual box and uh, I have opened the Firefox here and uh, let's going to download so for downloading Citrix I'm just going to type here Citrix workspace download for Linux and once you type this uh, you can see Linux for India so you can just go for first or second that doesn't matter but I'm going for the second link and uh, if you open this link, you will get a lot of options, but to scroll down, just scroll down and scroll down. And uh, once you come here for download options, so you can see Debian packages, RPM packages, Starball, and additional. There is not mentioned Windows because we have searched with the Linux only. So if you have to download for Windows, you need to go and type download for Windows. and. Uh, Let's discuss here. So Debian means uh, if you have operating system related to Ubuntu flavors of any version, suppose 18, 20.0.4 or 22 or something, so you need to follow the Debian packages. You need to expand Debian packages, then again expand full packages and download this file. So if you click to download, it will download in .deb extension. And uh, once it is download, I will show you while installing in CentOS how you can download, uh, how you can install this file as well. So let me go with RPM because I have CentOS operating system. So I'm going to download CentOS version. Okay. So okay, I just clicked for download. It's a uh, 152 MB, so it will take time to download. I'm going to pause this video. Once it is download complete, I will come back. Okay, so let me check whether it's downloaded or not. So, okay, it was downloaded now. And uh, I have already opened the terminal for installing. Let me go to download section. And uh, here I can list and find out I see a client and dot rpm package for centos and if you are going to use ubuntu then you need to download dot deb file let me install rpm hyphen i ica and uh, hit enter that's it and uh, the main thing is that i i was in also with the sudo right so i don't need to use sudo and if you are uh okay it is saying that the user is already exist. So I was using earlier Citrix in my system. So it is saying that if you're going to install first time, it won't be so like that. And uh, let's see, this command is completed now. And uh, let's see whether it is installed or not. So internet, okay. So I can find out here the Citrix workspace. And if I'm going to open, it is showing add account. Add account means uh, whether you are using any uh, Citrix account, then you can use it. Otherwise, uh, we formally used to open a remote portal on web browser, and then we download the set, uh, kind of a Citrix uh, VDI file. Then we open, and uh, this Citrix workspace works as a mediator. So that's it about it. And uh, if you just one thing, I was just uh, talking about earlier. If you are going to use Ubuntu system, then you need to use this command with the .dev package. So you only need to, just a second. Okay, so if you are going to install in Ubuntu, then you need to type dpkg, okay, just a second. You need to type dpkg hyphen i then the package name will be just look like that dot dev extension so you need to just hit enter in ubuntu system and uh, you will able to install in ubuntu as well and only you need to just 
install and use it according to your uh, policy and uh, all things. So, if you are going to uninstall this software, it will uh, will be tricky for you as well. So let me show you still uninstallation part as well. So for uninstallation, you also need to follow yum uninstall sorry remove and uh, you need to type the exact package name that is defined with the IC client you just need to forget the tricks because that is not mentioned here while installation and uninstallation as well so if you type IC client and then click to remove just you know hit the command for remove then you can see here this is just asking for yes confirmation for removal so I'm just typing yes and uh, it will uninstall as soon as so that's the way how you can install Citrix file on your uh, Linux system or in your Ubuntu system and you can follow the uninstallation command if you are having any trouble file installation so this is how you can use it and the portal was you know you can see earlier uh, this one so you can download from here and install if you are facing any challenge then you can comment me I will help you to resolve that and uh, definitely I will reply your, your comments so thank you so much have a nice day